Hush up, something's stinking up. The whole cabin must be something in my varmint trap, so let's see what I snag. You know, long as man's been hunting coons by starlight, he's been looking up and shouting, I wanna go on that moon. And we did, cause we said we would. But now these space princes are going around demanding all the greenbacks the cow can carry so they can keep gallivanting in their rockets till the sedated spring from the mud. Well, it's time Molly Coddle in her bright pink parasol got ripped off a shitter and made to smell her own business. Now, I'm getting joined by Ellie Granderson. She's gonna put a feminine scope on these least kerchief star buggers and give us her lady opinion, Ellie. Hi, Joe. You know, it riles me up every time you walk in here, Ellie. <laughs> you set my blood to dancing with all your pillowy parts. <laughs> oh, stop it, Joe. <laughs> now, now, give it to me, no fimble famble, Ellie. When we start dusting these rocket boys' lily white bottoms with baby puff? Uh, Joe, since the end of the Cold War, NASA has basically functioned as a giveaway to the American aerospace industry wasting trillions of taxpayer dollars every year on extravagant programs with no tangible benefit. Finds a plum to look at, all the sense of a badger to boot. <laughs> Joe. Now I've been thinking on, I got these three little chickens pecking on my head while saving NASA some coin. One, no more building giant space pricks while for pissing on the cosmos. Man wants to go to space, can strap on a helmet, climb in the cannon, let the Chinese gunpowder carry him off among the stars. That's right, Joe. The average manned space mission costs $15 billion. Two, enough with your silly experiment selling us a fantasy of plants will grow without water. Yes, Joe, let's help the Americans at home Seven, before we move three. on. Three, you grab Joe. some of them green spacemen, slice them head to bread, and let them know it was Joe who done it. If the lady think it's proper, of course. I think maybe there's a job at NASA for you, Joe. Well, thank you, Ellie. She's pretty, but she won't be having old Joe, not even on a bearish mountain. And I'm still true to old Margaret, so let's bring her out. Sorry, Margaret, you know how I get. It's just these sky flies and federals get my blood up, so. Why can't everything be like it was the Welton County Fair? You remember that? When you went and got your ice cream all over my bean coat and I lost my temper. You didn't deserve what you got. But I just got to live with that for the both of us. That's my cross, Madge. Y'all come back now. Gonna skin a fox in one throat and you're gonna fancy on it.